Families and communities in developing countries face complex and interrelated challenges in the areas of family planning, access to health services, natural resources, and livelihoods. These challenges may contribute to cycles of poverty and poor health. The relationships between population, health, and environment can take many different forms. For example, environmental change and the rapidly growing population both work to increase pressure on natural resources. Girls may have to spend increasing amounts of time finding water and firewood for the home. This may lead to girls dropping out of school. Girls with little or no education are more likely to marry early. Early marriage leads to early childbearing, which involves health dangers for mother and child, lower decision-making ability in their homes, and higher lifetime fertility, which continues the cycle of high population growth. Health, livelihoods, food security, environment, and population are all important pieces of this puzzle. In response to these interrelated challenges, many organizations have developed integrated approaches that respond to the health, livelihood, and environment needs of communities. This approach is often called Population, Health, and Environment, or PHE. The PHE approach acknowledges and addresses the complex connection between humans, their health, and the environment. PHE initiatives use integrated approaches to improve access to health services, especially voluntary family planning and sexual and reproductive health, while helping communities to manage natural resources and conserve the critical ecosystems on which they depend. The PHE approach has been tested by environmental and health organizations in diverse locations across multiple continents, and the dots on this map mark PHE projects conducted over the last several years. These projects have proven effective for improving the lives of people in a variety of ways. PHE projects often work with people beyond the reach of health systems in remote and hard-to-reach areas. They have proven to be more effective than single-sector efforts saving organizations and communities time. They are often more responsive to people's priority needs, thus gaining greater community support. And they often lead to greater involvement of men in health and women in environment and livelihood aspects of projects. The population, health, and environment approach has wide-reaching benefits for communities and the environment. Supporting women and men in achieving their desired family size can reduce the economic burden on families and the pressure on natural resources, leading to improvements in women's lives, improving their health and growing their resources, and increasing their participation in household and community decisions. By integrating population, health, and environment interventions, programs can improve the lives of individuals and address many of the long-term population and environment challenges the community.